this Gail King, Lisa Leslie interview everybody's talking about. First of all, shout out Lisa for handling that shit the way you did. And then Gail. I don't even know what to say, to be honest with you. That's just some clown ass shit. And then you come out this morning trying to explain that it was the network. The network cut and edited. Are you surprised that a bunch of white people got the token black woman to go talk bad about some other black people? That's That surprised you as old as you are? You're surprised about that? I got to talk to the network. It's going to be a I'm gonna f out of here. You were the clown they thought you were and you did what you what they thought you was going to do. People are crazy, man. Let these people rest in peace, man. Y'all find something else to fill your pockets up with. Oh, yeah, then Jason Whitlock. I always had a suspicion about you till I met you. I worked with you. Never really seen no funny. It kind of seemed cool. And then to find out all the you talked about Kobe throughout his whole career. And then had you uh, had you as a token black man on Fox News calling him he's the smartest basketball player this, smartest basketball player that. When you know this whole, as long as you've had a platform, you've been talking about Kobe. You a fucking clown too, straight up. Clown. We not taking no Kobe disrespect in the media. I don't give a fuck who you are. We in the media now too, so we got some power too. We got some voices too. We not taking no disrespect by nobody in the media. F all y'all. Straight up. It's been a tough week for all of us, man. Uh, obviously condolences to the, to the families involved, but uh, especially, you know, the Bryants and, 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 and Vanessa and, and the kids and mom and dad. But it was also my mom's birthday yesterday, so I was already kind of in like a off energy mood coming into the week, uh, you know, and then the helicopter crash happens and I just closed off, like similar to when my mom died. I just, I closed off. But then I remember that when my mom passed, what helped me start to kind of understand it and you know, you, you never want to question God's plan, but sometimes you really question it. But was talking. Jack and Baron came over every day. Nita came over. Shout out, Nita. Um, the Warriors showed me so much love. They got me a therapist, and I just started talking more and more about the good times with my mom and remembering that and thinking, like, damn, okay, maybe that's what I need to do. And then out of the out of the blue, my homegirl, Mina, at ESPN hits me up because I was supposed to be off. I was up in the Bay coaching the Twins. Hits me up and asks me if I can come in and just talk. And at first I was hesitant because I just didn't know what to say. But then, like I said, I remember talking about my mom help. So um, being on the jump in sports center the past few days allowed me to kind of just open up and share my stories has really started to help me open back up. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I was closed off. Thank you to everyone who texted me, uh, sent me flowers. Ernest, man, I appreciate you, homie. Thank you for the flowers. Um, that the fans on Instagram... Uh, you know, thank you for showing all the love and support. I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I know how I feel. I can only imagine how the, the family's feeling. But, I mean, this hit us all tough. He's a good man. We, we lost a real good dude. We lost a good, solid brother. And, and a beautiful song in Gigi. And, like I said, the rest of the people um, on the plane. But those two in particular, because I knew them. Uh, this one's going to hurt for a long time.